We're now beginning a restoration project from a 1931 crucifix which was donated and became the original sanctuary crucifix at Blessed Sacrament Church in Ottawa, Canada. It's well over seven feet tall and it's made out of wood, beautifully handcrafted by an artisan about 85 years ago. You can see the face, it's beautifully carved. There is very, very beautiful detail in it. Our artist Pauline is going to refurbish the entire statue. I'll show you as well, but it's carved out of wood and so you can see there are actually splits along the grain lines and some of those are quite long and visible. We'll be able to take care of all of those with proper fillers and then sand it all down before we prep it for a repainting. As you can see up on the arms, there is certainly some aging. There's some splitting in the wood as well that we'll be able to take out. Up along here, you can see the original hardware was replaced obviously by much more modern hardware. That will be removed and we will be replacing it with uh, nails similar to what the original artist had envisioned. On this side, you can see the arm had to be uh, replay, uh, repaired and it was a bit rough, but we'll be able to take care of all that. These various nail holes and so on will all be gone and uh, we'll be able to then repaint the entire statue and try to bring right back to life the beauty of the original artist's vision back from 1931. We've removed the corpus, which was sculpted out of wood, carved many years ago. But it was also multiple layers of wood that were together in the block before the sculpting began. As you can see over time, the dryness and the splitting of the wood has begun to show. So there are some fairly large cracks, many of them already filled. But what we're using is for the larger cracks, a two-part epoxy sculpt. So you mix the two different parts and it gives you a little bit of working time. But when it finishes, it becomes extremely hard and durable and permanent. For the smaller cracks, what we use is a construction grade, professional grade bonded wood filler. It fits into the smallest of the cracks as you can see here. And then what we do is using a number 400 sandpaper, we gently take away any uh, re remaining signs of the crack and then it becomes ready for the artist to take it over. So as you see from the chest area here, there have been some splits. We've put on the first layer of the wood filler, the bonding. The next stage will be to put on a second layer to sand it down and have it once again prepared for the artist to begin her work. It's a lengthy process to remove decades of residue from wax candles, smoke and the environment. The focus shifts to repairing and reattaching Christ's broken shoulders, hiding the joints and protruding nails from previous work. Even the areas hidden from view have to be properly sanded and preserved. It's a meticulous but important part of the restoration process. The upper arms to be filled and sanded, the weak shoulder joints reinforced with screws which will be hidden beneath the surface of the statue. The shoulders repaired, the body sheen gently removed, then broken pieces are replaced with epoxy sculpt and allowed to cure. Then the anticipated start to multiple layers of paint from this base coat with its dramatically refreshed skin tone, shoulder wounds, cuts and bruising, but most of all the realistic face of Jesus and details throughout the statue. corpus reattached to a fully refinished and now gold-edged cross, the crucifix returns to Blessed Sacrament Parish and is blessed by Father Timothy Nelligan, the pastor, then returned to the church narthex. Historic Blessed Sacrament Parish, the original 1931 crucifix, fully restored for prayer, adoration, and reflection of Christ's crucifixion. <laughs>